Hey everybody, I'm Too Old For Toys and this is a review of the Revoltech Black Ox. Not a Gundam. Size comparisons with a tin of pop. Yeah, I don't have my usual tin of pop because the missus drank it. Box. You know what you're getting with a, a Revol tank. Let's crack this open. Yeah. Uh, the retail cost is 1,995 yen. Made in China. editing for this. I don't have much time. So, inside the tray. This. this is really the first time I've opened this. And here we go. The Black Ox. And he is cool looking. Super glossy plastic. Slightly rubberized. It's the us usual um, Revol Tech kind of materials. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. The sound of Revol Tech joints. Okay, usual deal. The ankles, Revol Tech joint. Good range of motion in the knees. Hips. Swivel. Waist. Silver paint app there, all the way around. I love this big barrel chest that he has here. Shoulders. Oops, that came out rather easily. This normal for a Revol Tech figure. Elbows about 90 degrees, and a swivel fist. Any Revol? No, there's no, there's no Revol Tech joint there. Punchy fist. Open palm. And this hand is rather interesting. There is a joint at the knuckle. So we can do an opening and close. It looks a bit crap when it's open, but closed, it's kind of okay. Yeah, there's a big gap in there. Um, what can he grab hold of? I can't for the life of me remember this guy's name, something 28. But he's, this guy's arch nemesis. Well, this guy's a bad guy, typically. <laughs> yeah, so, ripping the head off his enemy. Yeah, the head is molded all the way into his neck and he can turn his head left and right and bob up and down. Oh yeah! But not really a chicken head. And there you have him. Was there anything else in the box? Oh yeah, there are some replacement parts here which I'll swap out for you right now. It's the upper arm. Yeah, and the lower shin. Bear with me. And there you have it. So, it's like a replacement. And as if you removed a piece of armor to expose the inner workings. And it's a paint application, silver and gold, which looks cool. And the same for the upper arm. It looks very nice. So that's pretty much it. Oh, yep, uh, there's a hole in his heel and in his bottom to put on his stand 
yeah, he has replacement hands on the for left and right. So pretty much the same as what you get with if you look on my review for the Gurren Lagan full drillized, also Regal Tech. So I won't bother showing it you here. I like the open palm. So in conclusion, I would say I really like the look of this guy. Yep. The retro design and it's just so old school. And you can get this guy in it pretty much any position that you want. Revil Tech really know how to make an action figure. Okay, and you get a stand with it so you don't have to worry about balancing or anything like that. Can I recommend this action figure? Absolutely. No worries there whatsoever. Revil Techs, you can't really go wrong. Till next time. Bye bye. Right, I forgot something very, very important. Size comparisons with a tin of pop. Pretty much exactly the height of a tin of pop.